At any given time, about 1,700 Australians are on the waiting list for an organ donation. Because Australia has one of the lowest rates of organ donation in the world, many end up waiting for years. Selling organs is illegal worldwide. But in Britain, at least a dozen people are offering to sell their kidneys for £20,000 to try to beat the economic downturn. This report from ABC Europe correspondent Emma Alberici. William Henderson has been renovating his house in Lancaster in the north of England for three years. Work has slowed a bit since he ran out of cash. I've looked for a job, but there wasn't no jobs forthcoming. The only thing that I had was bills. I'm looking for an extra way to make some money. If I could sell my kidney and get a small reward, which is £25,000, then that would help me greatly. He got the idea after stumbling across scores of other ads on the internet posted by people wanting to sell their kidneys. In recent years, the number of living kidney donors in the UK has increased by almost 60%. William Henderson had previously considered donating a kidney to his brother-in-law, only to discover that he wasn't a suitable match. He was still interested in donating, but financial hardship led him to put a price on his kidney. I'm hoping to that a donor, a recipient for my kidney, will come along and take me up on my offer. And we can, I can sell my kidney to somebody who's desperately in need of a kidney, preferably a child. I'll get a small reward and the child would probably get a shot at life. Here in the UK, selling organs or even offering them for sale is an offence, with those found guilty facing up to three years in jail. Giving up a kidney while you're still alive is supposed to be a purely altruistic act. Most transplanted organs come from people who've died of catastrophic brain injury following accidents or strokes. The UK has one of the lowest rates of organ donation in the developed world. Last month, there were 8,000 patients waiting for a transplant. On average, 1,000 people will die every year waiting. Uh, publicity is being increased to encourage more people to sign on our organ donor register and that's currently about 26% of the, the population who have done that. So it is going up slowly and part of that is to encourage people to talk about with their loved ones what they would like to happen to their organs after they've died. Keith Rigg is the consultant surgeon in the renal transplant unit at Nottingham City Hospital. He's also the head of the British Transplantation Society. Selling organs is illegal all over the world, but he agrees that regulating the practice is at least worth a debate. There will be no harm in debating it uh, for professionals, for public, but it needs to be thought through extremely carefully. Well, I just I personally think it's, it's completely wrong. Um, I mean, why, why would somebody want to, to sell a kidney for personal, um, personal needs? I mean, I mean, to gain money, uh, it's not, not something that I agree with at all. So how's things gone at the hospital today, Andrew? It's gone fine, well. Five years ago, at just 22, Andrew Davison was diagnosed with chronic kidney failure. Because of their own medical problems, neither his father, his mother, nor his brother were suitable donors. But even as he waits for a life-saving match, he and his family are dead against the idea of buying an organ. I just don't think that people should do it for monetary gain. You know, if I wanted to give my kidney or whatever, to somebody else. I wouldn't, I would do it out of the love of me person rather than for monetary benefit. William Henderson's new job driving taxis isn't earning him enough to keep his house, so he can only see the upside to selling one of his kidneys. He knows that one in 3,000 live donors will die as a result of the operation, but he thinks it's a risk worth taking. Now, you know, it's illegal in this country. Indeed, it's illegal in every country in the world. That's right. But, but why can't we change the law on that? There's quite a lot of people who are offering the kidneys for a, for a, a fee. Why can't we do that? It would save the government a lot of money and it would also give hope to people with CKD, CKD. Well, the argument, of course, from critics is that if you did legalise the sale of organs, it could lead to the exploitation of poor people. Yeah, or the, the poor are already being exploited. It won't get any worse. 
it will actually help the poor people because then they'll get the fair price for it. They won't be tricked into giving it for low, for low money. In the Philippines at the moment, kidneys are traded for less than a thousand pounds. Now, if that was we could do it legally, they could get a fair amount for that, which is twenty-five thousand pounds. To them, that's a, a, a great deal of money. Does it surprise you that in this day and age here, during this economic crisis, that people are actually advertising to sell their kidneys? I think it's desperate times. There are people who are desperate, uh, who are caught up in the poverty trap. Equally, there are people desperately waiting for an organ transplant. Um, and it's, it is no surprise. We know that it's, that it's illegal. But uh, I think desperate times do mean that people do do desperate things. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? I'm not too bad. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Um, I'm very hopeful that something will happen, if not soon, uh, in the future. While he waits, Andrew Davison is on dialysis. Three times a week for four hours at a time, he sits here at a hospital half an hour from home, attached to this machine while it cleans the toxins from his blood. For five years, he's missed out on things men of his age take for granted, but he lives in hope that someone special will one day give him the gift of life, a gift he won't have to pay for. I mean, I would have the freedom to to go on holiday, um, to go out with my friends, uh, be able to work normally. Um, I hope that one day that will materialise and I can get back to normal. The long-term prognosis for a kidney donor is the same as for those with two kidneys, so the threat to their health is minimal. The reward for the recipient might just be priceless. Emma Alberici with that report.